Good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to the sixth annual Cholangiocarcinoma Foundation meeting. Um, we have a very exciting agenda today, and uh, we've tried to introduce a lot more time for dialogue and discussion, but we're going to be very strict about keeping to time. Um, I wanted to point out a couple of, uh, of uh, uh, data points that are kind of exciting. A lot of us probably remember when this, this organization and this meeting got started, and it keeps growing in size and in importance and in influence every year. So I understand that this year there's 475 uh, uh, people registered for this meeting, which is bigger than any previous year. And the meeting is also on live stream. And last year there were uh, some six or 700 people who joined live, live streaming with us. Um, and we were anticipating maybe 1,000 this year. And yesterday, there were 1,600 live streaming. So we're getting out there. Um, also new this year is there are actually 27 sponsors uh, from industry and other partners that are supporting this meeting generously, uh, which really speaks also to the, the growing influence of this, of this annual meeting. Um, which is fantastic. So, as you know, this is, this, this is a very unique meeting. Um, it's a rare opportunity for those of us in, in medical research and oncology to have the, the opportunity to interact with science, scientists and other clinicians from around the world, and uh, as well as patients and their caregivers and their advocates and all the different sponsors and volunteers and the Cholangiocarcinoma Society. And it leads to a very uh, interesting uh, dialogue and, and interaction and discussions. And I, I always come, uh, come away from this meeting incredibly recharged to treat uh, uh, cholangiocarcinoma. I didn't mention I'm a medical oncologist from Toronto, and I've been, I've been working in cholangiocarcinoma for many years. And it's incredibly exciting to see this kind of change. Um, The international, the, 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 the scope for collaboration is, is, is incredible. So uh, 40 different states represented, 29 different countries. It's, it really is very, it really is very international. And um, if you look at the agenda today, there's a number of uh, very interesting topics. And we've tried to group the, um, the, um, the agenda by, by these topics. We start off with epidemiology, and then we, we talk about genetic risk factors. Uh, we move into uh, a review of all the current treatments of cholangiocarcinoma, a session dedicated to immunotherapy. Then we have a, a special s section to talk about regional and inter international collaborations. And then we end up celebrating uh, some of the cholangiocarcinoma uh, fellowships uh, and, and the presenters. So I'm going to turn over now to Lewis, who's going to add his, his uh, additional comments before we start the meeting. Thank you. Thanks, Jennifer, and thanks, everyone, for being here. Um, I'd like really just to thank a number of different um, groups and institutions for um, this meeting. Um, first of all, to Stacey Lindsay, who is president um, and the Calandra Customer Foundation, the staff and the volunteers um, for just their exceptional dedication, their persistence, and as you'll see over the course of this meeting, their transformational innovation in the space of cancer advocacy. Um, so they've done, I think, um, just exceptional work for people with all cancers, not only for people with cholangiocarcinoma. And they've just organized um, for us another outstanding meeting. And so um, thanks. Um, many of you know that yesterday we had the, um, the meeting, the pre-meeting with patients and um, patient caregivers and advocates. And that was, again, exceptional and um, lots, of, lots of good interaction. I also wanted to thank federal agencies that are supporting this meeting. Um, later on in the meeting, we'll hear from Dr. Chris Austin, who is the director of the National Center for Advancing Translational Sciences. That's a center that's tasked with reducing the time from 
from bench to bedside, so to speak, and trying to um, accelerate um, the movement of discoveries from basic science, translational science, to products that we can use on patients. And it's great that the director is committing time to spend with us. He'll be um, webcasting in from Washington, D.C. We also have Dr. Naomi Hariba from the FDA. Um, and another of the areas that this group has been working hard on is the idea of the area of innovating in clinical trials. You'll hear about some of that, and there's been a strong partnership forged with the FDA, and so we'll, it'd be great to hear from Dr. Horiba as well. And in addition to speaking, uh, these ag agencies are actually putting their money where their mouth is. And so for the second year, we have an R13 grant in support of this meeting from the National Cancer Institute. And in addition, this is the fourth consecutive year, and this is a record um, that this organization has received the Eugene Washington Engagement Award from the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Institute, or PCORI, for bringing patients and their advocates to the meeting. So again, I think we need to just congratulate um, Stacy and the Kalanji Kasama Foundation for just exceptional work in advocacy for patients with this disease. <laughs> so Jennifer mentioned this already, and I just wanted to reiterate it, that as part of our planning, we actually asked speakers and the sessions to try to particularly focus in the last few moments of each talk on the idea of collaboration and how we can be collaborating together on the topics that are their special area of interest. And I just wanted to throw it out there also to the audience that's the challenge for us to be thinking as we're listening to these talks about opportunities for collaboration and, and, and bring those questions forward that are necessary to really stimulate the discussion and the action that we need to be moving forward in these areas. There'll be four mo roving microphones um, after, each, um, after each session, and they also have two standing microphones uh, for you to use. So once again, thanks to Stacy, the foundation, the volunteers, all the speakers who are graciously giving of their time, and all of you um, colleagues and patients and patient advocates for attending. Welcome to the meeting.